Victoria Bartlett launched her VPL line in 2003 and it started out as a line that looked at underwear as sportswear and as something sexy and wearable and comfortable and feminine and also extraordinary because it was so simple and so sexy. Now, seven years later, Victoria is still working on VPL and has expanded into dresses and, you know, wraps and shoes and wonderful things. And now we're talking to her in her studio. Hi, Vic. Hey. Hey. So why don't you tell me, I know that one of your inspirations in, in your designs, it started out with, with kind of a medical idea that you were impressed with like sutras and surgical things. Tell me the most creative thing you've ever done uh, in the line as far as adapting medical to clothing. Um, the most, I'd say, outlandish was the MRI scan of my brain from one of my car accidents. And we, trans we translated it into a print, like a top topographical print. It looks like a landscape. No one would ever know. So, but it had your personal imprint. So yeah, they basically, had personal imprint. basically, people were wearing your brain and, and exactly. didn't know it. That's kind of sinister. <laughs> they were Vicky. going into the inner sanctums. I know. But I wonder if those people are still thriving. We should check on them. I yeah? think we should. Yeah, I think we should. Notations. And also, uh, you're a woman close to my heart because you love dance. And I know you've been inspired by Isadora Duncan and Martha Graham and a lot of great ladies. Tell me a bit about how dance continues to inspire your, your creations. I mean, dance sort of with the metaphors, it ties into the body, has always been my big inspiration. I did in one of the shows, Anita Berber, Martha Graham and Nijinsky, and it was all about movement. So for me, the lines in clothing, the actual movement of clothes, having the volume and the capacity to be able to move, and that's a really integral part of VPL is comfort and the, the liberation of movement, the idea that you feel modern and free. Yeah, because a woman can't really be sexy if she's uncomfortable, you know? And isn't that right? Um, personally, that's what I've found. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I find. Although I'm too. sure for some women, maybe it's not the case. <laughs> <laughs> In general, yeah. So let's, let's look at, okay, VPL2 is yeah. your latest, you know, evolution, and it's going what to be in the, the stores. Photos? Yeah. So, so let's look at some of the, well, we're going to look at the photos of, of the clothes that are going to be shot. Right. Uh, no, not going to be shot, but in the stores this week. So let's look at what's happening here. I'm going to turn to well, the Well, this book is now. the campaign. Well, we did one, one image for a campaign. But shot by your husband. Magic Kowalski. Yes. And I think this is really, for me, the strongest pictures ever done of people that would kind of represent, for me, the woman and what it means. And it's very much about the body describing it in a way where it's not TNA, there's nothing that's that's about trying to shock. It's always about the beauty of these tones yeah. showing flesh, but it's all like these dull metallics and I like the yin and yang of heavy and light. So you've got the underwear and you've got the big heavy knit. Like that's the, fantastic. Almost like a granddad's knit. Yeah, so I love those knit opposites. With the sexy kind of but also, it's like a natural. 20s. I'm obsessed by the 20s. I was a woman who should have been born then. Poiret was my mentor. And how about this? Is a gorgeous dress. Look at this. This, this is actually. It's a. This is the thing. It's a top. A top on a skirt. It's the undie skirt, which is like with the. We had to change it actually for sales because they didn't really want the underwear hanging. Hmm. But for the show, it was great. And the top is just with all these flaps of fabric, it's layers. So it's all about the floating and the movement on the body. And this is very formed. It's almost like a neoprene. Great. So there's no restriction. How about this one? Yeah. Well, knits are one of our growing, biggest growing parts besides the underlings. It's about the chunky and then the fine. This is like bamboo with all the, it's almost like a dance piece with all these layers that swing to the side. Yeah, absolutely, because dancers are renowned for, you know, putting the, taking the clothes on and whipping them off. You exactly. Know, and exactly. you can wear it, you can, I like malleability and I like dual functionality. I like yep. the fact that you can wear it around the neck, you could even wear it in different ways of this, you can swing over Wrap it and around it. your waist even, yeah? You could, you could wear it on your hip, you could wear it like a, across your bust, you could wear it back. And also this, you can tip over on the other side so you have two wings. 
the net. It's actually both hanging on one side. That's the way Terrific. I wanted it. Let's go to the next one. And, and this, this for me, I love like things that follow the line and it's like the ribbon. I always incorporate ribbons and in, in leggings and clothes, things that come from, that are sort of extracted from underwear. So there's yeah. always the zigzagging, stitching and detailing and in the um, elastic and sort of a, almost harnessing on the wrist. Yeah, I love that. There's the medical again, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, fantastic. There you go. All right, here we go. And this, it's similar, but it's like, for me, it's this, I really got into these kind of dull metallics and it's almost this sort of alchemy of like, non-shiny offensive bling. It's kind How about of the fighting shoes? The bling. Do you want to talk about we, the shoes? Yeah, we actually, we've grown even in accessories actually, which is, this is with Oli Kang and Jacqueline and Maya. I do a lot of, sorry, collaborations. We're doing the belts and the jewelry. We're doing, you know, the socks. We do the shoes, which is a collaboration with LD Tuttle. Yeah. Tiffany, who I love. She's and they're like the so perfect comfortable. Match they're so comfortable. Well, I've always said, when, I think women designers design shoes that are comfortable because they wear them. Yeah. And if they do design them in a while, it's usually because they have a man with them designing them. Exactly. He doesn't get it quite. Quite. Exactly. But aesthetically, it can work for the show. But I love comfort. And this this is my, um, she reminds me of um, Shelley Duval. And it's this metallic fine knit. It's a cardigan. You can tie it. You can wrap. Super with sexy. Scarf yeah. And like the opening of this. It's almost like a dot. To me, it's like, could be like a Michael Clark performance. I worship. And this is my little dance homage with the body suits. Almost like a twenties, because in the twenties I loved all those bathing suits with the lines. So I love like dividing and dissecting the body yeah. and like, you know, creating divisions and the elastic appendaging with this metallic skirt that kind of just, you know, cuts through it. Yeah, I, I love that. I actually it's love very twenties. It's to me it's like I feel like everything kind of lends itself to the twenties. And this is like these collage um, patchwork um, leggings, which actually these are not selling because they were way too expensive to make. What but were they made of? It's out of this sort of neoprene, this fabric we use, but they're, it's all individually patched. We did it here and it was way too much to, no one, would, no, no one wanted to pay for all right, the cost. Let, let's move on, let's move on. And then this, my favorite color. Is Look the at these tone. boots, they are kick-ass boots. I know, and these actually, all the girls pull them up, they're like waders. When you pull it up, you can totally pull to your thighs and they look like fishing waders. That's great. Which is great, and then you flap them down. It's like, I had to have a skin tone boot. And with a skin, paillettes on the tank and the underwear, a whole like nudie kind of, Personality going on an ocean of skin, and then these knits. This is a great sort of. It looks like a sheepskin, but it's a boucle. It's this Italian yarn, and it's <laughs> over like the bra. With all, I always do the mesh and the elastic. There's always the seams and the incisions and the appendaging of elastic going around. This is also a great way to wear something that's not fur that kind of looks rich in the same way. Isn't well, it? I've I've been very proactive in that. Yeah. It's like. I'm not opposed to people eating meat and using the byproduct. I have an issue about, you know, animals that are killed for fur. So I work with an Icelandic designer yeah. um, who does like human hair, I'll show humans can look beautiful on and they don't. And then this is like the sheepskin alternative. But this is my little falling off t-shirt. We did a lot of things that were falling apart in the Uber sheer. No, but that's great because every girl in her closet has something like this where, you know, you, you put it on, it's your go-to piece, that kind exactly. of t-shirt that you're always wearing and you can't let go of. With your heavy boots. And it's, it's very dance inspired. It's all about, you know, and dance things fall off. It's like, it's that whole sense of like things falling apart and coming back together. And Vic, we have 30 seconds on 30 the 30 seconds and then yeah. this is our last one, which is, again, the underwear with all the elastics and precision. And then this sweat cardigan is basically the idea of dual functionality. You can put the arms out, you put your hands in the sleeve, you can wear it many ways. Fantastic. And that's my last So VPL is this week in stores and it's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Vicki Bartlett.